So I recently discovered I'm missing a part on my new to me BMW i8. See, I had an oil leak on my garage floor and I started looking around the cars here to see where it was coming from. I've only had this for a couple weeks now and so naturally I got under it to see if it was the source of the oil. Good news is it wasn't. The bad news is I discovered some eh, pretty shoddy uh, fender better damage that was uh, repaired. That didn't make me too happy. Um, but more than that, I noticed that it was missing a pretty, I guess not integral piece, but something nonetheless. And it would go right there. And that part is the BMW Active Sound Module speaker. So if you're not familiar with BMW's Active Sound, um, on a lot of modern BMWs, they pump basically fake engine noise into the interior, especially when you put the car into sport mode. And the reason they do this is because the cars have gotten a lot more luxurious. Um, uh, there's a lot more sound deadening. Um, a lot of different clientele. People people want the car to be quiet when they want it to be quiet, and they want it to be loud when they want it to be loud. And so, there you go. Take it one step further on the i8, because the i8 has a 1.5 liter three-cylinder engine in the rear. You can put whatever kind of exhaust you want on a 1.5 liter three-cylinder engine. It's still going to sound like a 1.5 liter three-cylinder engine. And BMW actually did a pretty good job with it. It sounds good. Um, so I think this is kind of twofold. Um, they have it to make sound, to warn pedestrians that are around the car. And then they also have it to give a little meatiness to the exhaust note. But mine's not there. And so I did some searching and I did some posting on the various i8 boards and I asked people, what's it sound like? Um, am I really missing anything? I couldn't find anything. I can't find any videos with it by itself, isolated. All I can find is people that have added uh, another module that can make it louder um, or make it sound like other engines, which is actually pretty cool. Still, other people said, just get rid of it. Take it out. It's heavy. It doesn't make a huge impact in sound. And so I kind of wanted to see for myself. So I did what uh, any tech nerd would do, and I ripped a speaker out of a uh, enclosure I had, and I decided to wire it up. See, the harness that's back there that's hanging is just two wires, and I figured if it's two wires and it's going into what is presumably a speaker box enclosure, it must just be a speaker signal. So we're gonna hook uh, the wires up to a speaker, and I'm gonna sit there, put the speaker there, and we're gonna see what it sounds like out of the module and inside the car. Let's do it. So we're inside the car now, and we've got our trusty speaker. Let's turn it on and see what we get. So we've got the pedestrian warning. Um, the BMW i8 doesn't always have a you know, uh, gas engine on when it's powered up. So you have this to make noise to let people around the car know that there is a car there. This is pretty standard now. What we really want to hear is what it sounds like with the engine on. So I'm going to put it in a drive. I'll put my parking brake on and then I'm going to put it in sport. And immediately, you hear the sound of an engine. So you think that is the real engine, I'm just going to disconnect that, and that is the sound inside the car. Almost nothing. And right back. So now, this isn't super loud, um, but if you had it in an enclosure, it would be amplified, and it would be something you could hear outside, and it actually sounds like a legitimately decent engine idling. Uh, what I really want to see is how it sounds when the car has a load on it. So I'm going to snap my fingers and we're going to cut to that. So here we have it in standard mode. And you can hear it goes up and pitch as I drive. 
So there you have it. Now you know what the module sounds like outside of the car. 